back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be starting off a brand new series for 2021, and this is going to be my closet clean out series. With every video in this series, I'm going to be picking a category of my closet and trying on every single piece from that category, going through where I got it, what I like to style it with, what I like about it, what I don't, and ultimately deciding if I'm going to keep the piece in my wardrobe or post it for you guys to buy on my Poshmark. So today's video, we are going through my hoodies, sweatshirts, and zip ups. So I thought this would be a perfect first category to start with since we are in the dead of winter right now. So with that, I hope you all enjoy. Definitely make sure to subscribe, tell your friends about this channel. It would mean the world to me. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. Sweatshirts and zip ups. I have them all in rainbow order right here with the pullover sweatshirts first and then the zip ups at the end. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of sweatshirts here. My closet is overflowing with them. Um, these are what I just put on every day. Like these are my everyday winter clothes at least um, because I don't get dressed up most of the time. Um, but I am running out of space for all my sweatshirts so I'm gonna go through them. I'm gonna try on every single one and I'm going to decide if I'm going to sell it on Poshmark or keep it in my closet. Everything that is still available um, to be sold will be linked down below, like if I could find them on any websites, and then everything that I'm going to be listing on Poshmark will be also linked down below. The first zip up that I'm wearing right now um, is this light blue one from Juicy Couture. So I got this one thrifted from Poshmark. I think it's so cute. I think it's a child size one actually. I was going through a big Juicy Couture phase, I think my senior year of high school, now I'm going back into one again. So I'm definitely not getting rid of the sweatshirt. I think it's so cute, so adorable. And now we have the pink version of the Juicy Couture jacket. Again, I absolutely love this one. This is from the same collection because it has the little dog on the side. It's a children's size. Um, it has the J zipper and it's pastel pink. So this is probably my favorite zip up. Never parting with this. Um, I'm such a big Juicy Couture fan. I have one more Juicy Couture sweatshirt to show you guys. This is the last Juicy Couture jacket in my collection um, and it's just a plain black one but it is from a different collection so this other previous two were children's sizes and they had the little dog on them this is just literally a plain juicy couture jacket it has the J zipper and nothing else on it um, and you can see that it does fit a little bit different the adult sizes ones this is a size small because juicy couture does run a little bit small um, but it's cinched in on the waist more where the children's juicy couture tour jackets kind of don't really have a figure and the adult ones do so if you are thrifting any juicy couture jackets just keep that in mind when prepping for this video I kind of like eyed all my sweatshirts and zip ups and like thinking in my head like oh which ones am I gonna give away or not and this one was on the list of things that I was going to give away or Poshmark but now I want to keep it because I put it on and it's just so cozy I don't know where the zip up is from it's a dark gray color but it's just literally so comfy. I know I've worn it a lot to the beach, um, so I think I'm just gonna keep it. You know when you're going out like with your friends like to the beach in the middle of the night in the summer, like this is that hoodie that I usually wear, um, and I don't have anything else like it, so I'm just gonna keep it. It looks like I'm going to be keeping all the zip ups in my collection, because this is my last one. Um, this is just a plain white zip up from Brandy Melville. It's my literal favorite jacket because you can pair it with just about anything. It's plain white, and that's what I like about it um, and it's just this nice cotton material it's super comfy I actually left it at a friend's house once and I bought another one so that just goes to show like how much I love this jacket um, but yeah I'm not parting ways with this one for sure so starting off for sweatshirts we have my black more issues than Vogue sweatshirt this is super super cute but it has been in the back of my closet for a while so a little bit of backstory here I was looking for a sweatshirt like this back in 2015 2016 16. This was all over Pinterest and Tumblr and YouTube and when I finally found one I got it off Shein and it is a little bit too small for me I mean it fits me perfectly, but it's too small 
small for how I like to wear my sweatshirts. So I will be listing it on my Poshmark down below. I know one of you guys is going to enjoy this sweatshirt much more than I do. Um, it is a really nice quality though. It's thick and it's really fuzzy on the inside so it's going to keep you warm in the winter. So finally I'm clearing out my closet and getting rid of one thing in this video. <laughs> okay so moving on to the color gray. We have this huge oversized sweatshirt that says sarcasm. It's giving me Tumblr 2013 vibes. Um, so I kind of like it. It is very worn out. I'm going to keep it because I like how oversized it is and just how nostalgic it is. So next we have this gray sweatshirt from Victoria's Secret. It says Victoria's Secret on the front in sequins. I think this is really cute and like glam but cozy at the same time. I got this on Black Friday when I was Black Friday shopping in 2016 with Jeff. So fun memories and I'm going to keep this one. This next sweatshirt is a gray cropped sweatshirt. And again, I don't really know when I got this or where I got this, but I looked at the tag and it looks like it's from Brandy. Melville so it says California on the side it's one of those cropped sweatshirts very like California beach girl vibes um, but I will be posting this one on my Poshmark because I really don't wear cropped sweatshirts anymore this is the last gray sweatshirt in my collection and it's very oversized it says Avon by the sea on it and this was my mom's so Avon is a beach town near me and she probably got it when I was a kid when we were visiting my poppy because we used to go to Avon all the time because um, he had a beach house there so lots of memories and this is a very comfy sweatshirt so I'm keeping it this is my only white sweatshirt and I think I'm going to get rid of it just because it's a little bit too big for me it's from the brand crybaby one of my favorite brands it says crybaby in blue script on it and then it's just white all over very simple so I think one of you guys would really enjoy this so I'm going to be posting it on my Poshmark um, and it's such high quality like crybaby makes the nicest sweatshirts you'll see the next sweatshirt that I try on I'm keeping and it is also from crybaby and I have one more newer one from them um, that you'll see later on in this video so this is my absolute favorite sweatshirt in my entire collection and it's this cream sweatshirt by crybaby it just says crybaby in the front um, so the same brand as the one previous it's just a smaller size so it fit me better if you haven't checked out crybaby already I definitely would they have so many cute sweatshirts um, and also cute little dainty clothing too I just wear this sweatshirt with everything. It's one of my like fancy sweatshirts So I wear it with a lot of like pleated skirts. I did get this sweatshirt around two winters ago I was wearing this in one of my what I got for Christmas videos And another fun fact about this sweatshirt is that Ariana Grande was pictured wearing it So I thought that was really cool now on to the pink sweatshirts We're gonna start off with a mauve one. This one's from Princess Polly You might have seen this in one of my previous fall hauls. I think it was fall 2018 um, but I haven't really worn it that much. I think, again, it's because of the crop. Like, I'm usually wearing sweatshirts in the winter when I'm freezing. I do think I'm going to be posting this one on my Poshmark just because I don't get a lot of use out of it. Next, we have this really cozy pink sweatshirt from Target. And it has these balloon sleeves, but it's only ballooned halfway through. So I think that's really unique without being over the top. I wore this sweatshirt to death last winter when I got it. Again, it's from Target, an amazing Target find. So I'm I'm definitely keeping this in my collection because I wear it all the time. So this is like the baby pink twin to my gray Victoria's Secret sweatshirt. I actually just got this one for Black Friday this year. Instead of Victoria's Secret written in sequins, this has Victoria's Secret written in rhinestones. So again, it's a really cozy sweatshirt, but also kind of chic. Um, I really love like chic loungewear. So definitely keeping this because I just bought it. So this is my last pink sweatshirt. It's in this baby pink color and it says Paris on it. It has beading of the Eiffel Tower. I just think this is so adorable, so dainty. Um, it's actually pretty old. I got it back in 2014, so it was featured in my What I Got for Christmas. If you guys have been watching me for that long, um, you might recognize this sweatshirt, but yeah, it's definitely one of my favorites. I really have grown up with this sweatshirt, um, and I'm not ready to give it up. I actually got it from Abercrombie. Um, my mom gave it to me for Christmas, but she did get it from Abercrombie so I thought that was really cool um, that they make things like this. It's my favorite thing ever and I just can't wait to go to Paris. Hopefully the end of this year, next year, whenever Paris opens the United States, I'm on a plane there right away. So we have finally reached the section of my sweatshirt collection, which is all Brandy 
Melville soft collar sweatshirts. This one is in the cinnamon color. Um, I was definitely going through a phase from 2017 and it lasted even into 2019 where I was just wearing these solid Brandy Melville sweatshirts for literally everything because I was going to cosmetology school and working at Claire's so I really didn't have much to dress up for so I have a lot of these sweatshirts and I'm just going to go through the entire collection and then we'll go back to the color order. Um, but yeah, super inspired by Emma Chamberlain back then. That was like in her prime. Um, I still watch her now though. I love her. But yeah, so I have a lot of these. But the first one is the cinnamon one. Not giving it away. I still love it. So now we have the yellow Brandy Melville sweatshirt. Again, it's plain. This one's actually comfier. I don't know why. Some of them like feel different than others, even though I got them all around the same time. Um, but yellow was a really big color in 2017. I'm not going to get rid of this one just because memories and also I do wear it an embarrassingly good amount. So it's going to stay in my collection. And then we have this blue Brandy Melville sweatshirt. Um, it's kind of more like a bluish gray one, but this one is like tighter than the yellow one. I don't know, maybe some of them got put in the wash. But this one's also staying in the collection because I don't think I'm gonna get rid of any of these. And the last sweatshirt for the Brandy Melville segment of the video is this lavender one. And this one is definitely my favorite from my Brandy Melville sweatshirt collection. Um, just because of the color, it reminds me of like a lavender cloud in the sky. Um, it's just so cute and girly and I do wear this with um, fancy outfits as well just because the color you can really dress it up and next we have this orange creamsicle colored beach hoodie from Primark I will be posting this on my Poshmark because I really don't reach for it all that much um, but it's super cute to wear to the beach it's very lightweight so it's nice for like a spring and summer moment so next up we have this adorable peach sweatshirt from Urban Outfitters that says thank a bunch on it. This is one of my new favorite sweatshirts. I actually got it this fall so it was included um, in my fall favorites video but it's just such nice quality and I love the embroidery on the front. Uh, definitely holding on to this one because I only got what like a year's use out of it um, so far. I mean not even a year, a season's use out of it so far. So I'm definitely going to be pairing this with a lot more plaid skirts and pleated skirts because that's how I was wearing in the fall. Um, and I'm absolutely loving this one. So this is another one of my favorite sweatshirts just because it looks so vintage. My mom got this when she went to Canada for her honeymoon and she gave it to me last winter. So I was so excited when I got this because it's just so cute. I love the emerald color. It says Niagara Falls on it and it has these little flower details. I really have been wearing this throughout the seasons. Um, it's just really fun to just pair with everything because the color is just so unique and I think green looks looks really nice with my brunette hair. This sweatshirt is probably my favorite thrift find of literally all time. I got this light green sweatshirt at a Goodwill near me and it was only I think two dollars. So, so affordable. It's very oversized but I just think it's just so cute. Um, I found it maybe two winters ago and I never stopped wearing it ever since. Um, it is a little bit worn out but I'm still gonna keep it just because I still wear it all the time. So this sweatshirt it gives me Taylor Swift Betty vibes. Somebody comment down below why I'm making that connection, but also if you see that connection too. I got this from Forever 21. It has this really cute collar on it, so if you want to join in on the collar and sweatshirt trend, you don't have to wear a shirt underneath your sweatshirt, which is really nice. Um, and the collar has these little like lacy doily things on it, so super girly touch to an otherwise casual sweatshirt. Um, it's in this really cool blue color. I have nothing in this color. Um, I'm really excited to wear this sweatshirt on Instagram. I'll probably post it next fall just because my Instagram feed is back to like light pink pastel colors for the winter. This is another sweatshirt that is newer to my collection. It's from Target and it says Aspen across the front as in Aspen, Colorado. Another place that I would like to go literally anywhere. I'm sick of New Jersey. Like take me anywhere please. Um, but I got this sweatshirt because I just love this pastel blue color. Um, I haven't had any pastel blue sweatshirts in a long time so when I saw this one I just snatched it right up and it's from Target so it's definitely still available it will be linked down below if you want to buy it um, but yeah it's super cozy on the inside definitely not putting this on Poshmark because I'm gonna wear it in a cute little 
um, winter photo shoot once it snows again. And we are ending this video on the two purple sweatshirts I have left. So this one I think is from Our Pastel. I don't remember where or when I got it, um, but it's super cozy and that's literally the only reason I'm keeping it. I do like the purple, but I would not wear this in an outfit, like out. Um, maybe like traveling like on a road trip or something um it's not particularly like fashionable but it fits me nicely and it's a perfect like pajama sweatshirt because it's not too thick but it's also pretty warm so i will be keeping this in my collection um sorry that this video is literally like a sweatshirt collection rather than a closet clear out video but you know i'm really bad with parting with my clothes the last sweatshirt in this video is this really cute purple lavender sweatshirt from crybaby this is brand new so I'm super excited to share this with you guys because they do have other colors of this and this specific sweatshirt is still available so it will be linked down below along with the crybaby website and as I said before the crybaby sweatshirts are just such nice quality they're very fuzzy on the inside and again the sweatshirt says crybaby on the front just like all of my other ones um, but I think this is super cute and I love wearing this with like a pleated skirt. I'll probably take pictures in this for Instagram soon too. So that was the last sweatshirt in this video. I'm so happy that I finally got through all of these. This video took me maybe three or four hours to film. Um, I just had so many sweatshirts, but this is what I have left in my collection. The rest I will be selling on my Poshmark, so definitely check it out down below. And all the sweatshirts that I am keeping, some of them might be available online, so those I will link as well too if you want to steal my style um, and with that let's get right into the outro so I hope you all enjoyed that video be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and comment down below your favorite hoodie sweatshirt or zip up from my collection I think mine is between my two newer ones either this light blue Aspen sweatshirt or my lavender crybaby sweatshirt and with that I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in my next video bye